In all fairness, throwing a meteor at a gas giant is like throwing a pebble at a fart. It just doesn't really have the effect that you're looking for. But maybe a moon would be a little different? And I'm sure Earth won't mind sharing its moon or just jumping right in itself. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, hey Earth, uh, do, do you see a uh, core in there? No, and it's gone. What's up guys, welcome back to Solar Smash. The only game where like a leftover burrito, you can freeze Florida solid, then weeks later reheat it, and it'll only have gotten a little bit worse. But like if you didn't say anything, I'm pretty sure nobody would be able to tell the difference. Now according to you guys, there's been a big update to Solar Smash since the last time I was dragging my nuts around here, and I'm noticing some new planets. I heard word of a secret planet out there somewhere, fingers crossed for Uranus too. But we've also got new weapons, and I gotta say, that's what interests me most, this freeze ray, because every other item in the game can only be used to hurt a planet. But maybe I want to help for a change. You know, global warming is a real kick in the pants. Maybe I can do something to stop it? Preferably without having half a continent look like a PR stunt for Icy Hot Gone Wrong. Well, that is definitely new and really cool. It looks like the Earth actually has atmosphere now. Or at least visible atmosphere if you look at it with just the right angle to the sun. Unfortunately, I'm trying to protect that atmosphere from the sun. So I'm thinking maybe we can just cool the sun down a little bit. I don't think the freeze ray worked as intended. May have just blown the sun up and the earth. Okay, you gotta look at the bright side of things. Especially now that the sun is gone because it's gonna be extra hard. I did stop global warming because it's all just gonna heat up at once and then pop. No more global warming. We just have a whole bunch of earth nuggets. That's also new and really cool. Do you think I can actually interact with these as well? Ooh. Yeah, there you go. I've got a frozen earth nugget flying right past me. I don't think this is helping the situation, actually. We may want to control Z that real quick. You really gotta love having infinite space mulligans to make mistakes with. Go away, Florida, nobody asked you. Like, I can appreciate that trying to freeze the sun might be a little bit too intense, okay? Too extreme. We gotta dial things down. So I'm thinking, how about we try to freeze the center of the Earth? That way, if it gets a little bit too warm up near the surface, we can go underground. We have a drill. We should be able to easily pass through the center without hurting anybody. <laughs> Nobody will die in this process, I'm sure of it. Go on, drill. I'm thinking you're probably going to come out somewhere... I was going to say north of Australia, but not if you make a giant U-turn. Where are you going? That's gonna come out right in the center of Asia. That's the worst case scenario. No, not India. <laughs> you could depict a more populated area. Two billion people died, all because Siri gave that drill the wrong directions. You know what? Screw it. Don't hire people to do a job that you can do better yourself. I know how to stand perfectly still. Plus, I haven't killed anybody on this side of the ocean. The other side, however, we tag 19 million, so that's probably no big loss. Uh, we'll just blame that on the dingoes. I know for a fact some of you think this is a dumb idea, but you can't tell me that it doesn't look too hot to live in there, right? So I, I am gonna help. If I freeze things, then it should be much more habitable, except I don't really know what happens to gravity in the center of a planet. Might be a little bit confusing. <laughs> Overall though, we haven't had any more deaths and it's looking pretty good. Maybe we should fly through it and give it a check. Never did get very good at flying this thing with mouse and keyboard, but I really want to inspect my work, so hopefully it's not gonna matter. Like, if everything went according to plan, then 
this should be incredibly safe, and it is. It's not too big, not too small, not too hot, not too cold. It's just right. Elon Musk and the three bears and the boring company can eat my ass. I'm the one running the show now. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure what would happen if the oceans poured in here. I'm still not really positive on how gravity is working, but we'll, we'll drop a few apples, run a few tests, I'm sure everything will be fine. It looks like I missed a spot. We could just go ahead and clear that out. Okay, listen, like, one life is well worth the path of progress. Is it too late to take back all that confident boasting and just file this idea away under oopsies with the rest of them? Because I was trying to freeze the ocean around the entrances to our tunnel you know, so the water can't get in for safety reasons, and I may have triggered an itsy-bitsy, teeny-weeny ice age that killed all living things on the planet. Even Santa! How do you freeze Santa to death? He should be used to this kind of thing. He's magic! I don't suppose the rest of the planet is magic and that I actually can just reheat it and everything will go back to normal? Nope. It's pretty much just a turdsicle in space now, even though I think I unlocked one of the secret planets. Oh. Well, you're not Uranus too. You might think that an intergalactic explorer like me would be excited to find a planet shaped like a snowman, but no, I, I know this is just another turdsicle in space with no population, so I'm just gonna have a space ghost punch him in the dick and then we can all move on with our lives. Get the wind up, and the pitch, and I'm gonna call that a strike because he barely noticed. Are you kidding me? Fine then, see if I care. I know a whole bunch of space ghosts that are just eager to punch somebody in their south pole. This guy's tougher than he looks. You know what, everybody in this solar system likes to think they're a tough guy until I burrow them a new butthole and fill it with bombs. <laughs> we'll see who gets the last laugh. When I decided to play Solar Smash this morning, I didn't think I would be finding out how many explosive balls I could fit into a planetary snowman's asshole, but here we are! I mean, he's still got a great big dopey smile on his face, which makes me think he might be into this kind of thing. To each their own, I'm just hoping to get the effect that I'm looking for with an antimatter bomb. Come on now, oh. Okay, first we get the expansion, then the collapse. What I want is the pop. Oh yeah, that's the pain in my ears that I was hoping for. Are you kidding me right now? I got four ass nuggets, four lowly dingleberries, and that's it? I, I mean, he's not laughing anymore, but that's not what I wanted. This thing was literally designed for detonating planets. It's its only purpose. If we can't kill the snowman like this, then I give up. I just don't care anymore. This has to have the effect that I'm looking for, please. I've got a lot more new stuff to get to. I can't let this thing beat me. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's looking a little hot all over which I don't think snowmen particularly like. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Thank you, much appreciated. Now for the pop. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. <laughs> Snowman nuggets, as far as the eye can see. Oh, I kind of want to freeze them, but I feel like that would just be doing him justice. We gotta let Frosty rip in peace out here in the space void. Hot damn, Jupiter is looking extra thick all of a sudden. I gotta back things up a little bit. <laughs> You're a beefy boy. Like, I, I don't think Jupiter is technically a new planet to Solar Smash. Pretty sure I've ruined this before, but I, I've been told that things act differently now. So if I hurl a rock at you, like a spoiled intergalactic toddler, then you will absorb it? Did I just get that right? I mean, it is technically a gas giant, right? Yeah, it's still perfectly round where I hit it. Okay, well, when in doubt, launch some nukes, because now I'm really curious. Is there a hard part in the center? 
It would have to be, right? There's no way that all this gas has enough gravity to keep itself together in space. Maybe the sun does that. I don't know. This is actually going to be a learning experience, and the nukes did absolutely nothing. Might as well have tickled the thing. Listen, Jupiter, you're not the first planet to play hardball with me, okay? How about I fire an antimatter missile at your eye? Be willing to bet you'll feel that. God knows my frame rate will. Every time I do anything and the gas physics kick in, then the universe just kind of chugs like a PowerPoint slideshow behind things. Hopefully, the pop will... Oh! It actually pushed all of the gas back around the planet, but did we find a core? Uh, doesn't look like it, but I think it's filling back in. Yeah, it absolutely is. That's wild. So uh, I'm guessing after a minute or two, all the gas is just going to pour back into the empty spot. And I mean, you'll never be pretty again. Don't get me wrong, but you'll probably be a perfect sphere. Well, I'll be damned. One day cycle later and everything is back to... Normal, relatively normal. I mean, obviously the eye is completely ruined and all the bands are screwed up, but it's a sphere again. If we're gonna find a core, then there's one thing that I know we can turn to. Cthulhu. He's all about getting a mouthful. He's not gonna show up and just take a whiff. <laughs> Dig in real deep, big guy, and see if you can find something for me. Oh. He literally just left with a whiff. So there must not be a center this, even though he didn't go very deep. It's filling up faster this time. By the time I finish talking, it's gonna be back to normal. I can't believe this. So we're just gonna have to go all out. We could try drilling. Oh, that's a genius. <laughs> there we go. Unless you decide to take a turn, please don't get lost again. I'm sure I upgraded your navigation. After how things went screwy with Earth, you just gotta go straight down the middle. It's gonna take a while. Jupiter's pretty freaking big. But you're bound to meet little resistance considering this is all just a cloud. I didn't take into consideration that even if we did find the center, the gas would just close over the tunnel and we'd never know. Jupiter is really trying its best to protect its secrets, but I'm not going to have any of it. There's got to be something else I can use here. In all fairness, throwing a meteor at a gas giant is like throwing a pebble at a fart. It just doesn't really have the effect that you're looking for. But maybe a moon would be a little different? And I'm sure Earth won't mind sharing its moon or just jumping right in itself. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, hey, Earth, uh, do, do you see a uh, core in there? No, and it's gone. I've thrown a lot of stuff at the Earth over the years, but this is the first time I've ever thrown the Earth at stuff. I could definitely get used to it. How about I open a black hole? We'll see how much gas we can absorb, but more importantly, we'll see if we can then throw the Earth into the black hole. <laughs> like, is it get Oh, it's gonna close. Come on, well, at least it kind of opened the way. There's less gas there, so you can just pile on in and get completely absorbed anyway. All right, I think we're hitting center, though, because we've got a bunch of rocky chunks flying out. It's just not definitive. Those could be Earth chunks. I don't know this for sure, but if I was a gambling man, I would bet good money that Jupiter's gases are mostly stuff like hydrogen, helium, you know, things that are really flammable, borderline explosive, stuff that a thunderstorm would have a heyday with. <laughs> if I could blow up the planet, that would be even better. Just lighting a fart with a match, right? No? I kind of expected more. I'm getting nowhere fast here. I feel like we're making progress, but it's really hard to tell. <laughs> like Things are getting smaller, but it feels like I'm trying to drink the ocean. Every time I take a sip, there's just more in its place. Is that the center? Uh, it's still looking pretty gassy, but I'm not seeing the gas fill in some of these holes. Oh no, there it goes. Come on, 
There's no way. It, it's significantly smaller now. So I'm definitely getting somewhere. What if we just try to go through the center? You know what? Screw it. If there's a core, then I'm gonna find it, even if it means hollowing it out. Oh, there absolutely is. Yeah, that's that's rock right there. So there is a center to Jupiter. I, I just gotta try to find it before my frame rate dies. There you are, you sneaky planet. Is that it? No more gas? You're all out? Jupiter doesn't have any Taco Bells, which means we've got ourselves a perfectly smooth stone planet. Interesting. Does it have a molten core, I wonder? Does doing this create a molten core, actually? <laughs> this might not be the most scientific way of exploring these things, but... Yeah, that's really cool. Let's try to blow it up. Some of you are probably thinking that Solar Smash is actually kind of educational, and you'd be right. I mean, the one thing that it's taught me is that there's no such thing as too many maximum power nukes to blow up a planet that's been pissing you off for 20 minutes straight. <laughs> Goodbye, Jupiter! <laughs> it's so... friggin' bright and tough. What the hell are those nukes doing? It did it again. I thought it might be a fluke, so I shot more. There they go. Weird. There's no way it was because of the gravity. There's not enough left for there to be significant gravity. I guess my nukes are just trying to find Jupiter. They're looking around like, well, this is clearly the wrong place. Well, there you have it. Jupiter nuggets for lunch. I feel good about that. I wasn't 100% sure about Jupiter, but Saturn definitely feels new. Like, I would remember hurling stuff through this minefield that's surrounding it. And like, I, I know we like to call them rings, but let's call a spade a spade. This is gonna be dangerous no matter what I do. I'm kind of hoping that I can hurl the Earth and not a moon again, yes. The moon would be too small. The Earth, however, is gonna plow through those rings like they're nothing, and we do have a chunky core, but a gassy exterior. It's kind of like a really crappy candy. <laughs> Did the Earth come out the other side? No, it's lodged in there now. Okay, so how are we gonna ruin your day, Saturn? Last time I shot an antimatter missile at one of these things, it ended up pushing gas all over the planet. The explosion is just way bigger than you would expect. And there's an implosion. So if I fired a bunch of them at the same time, oh, you can see them all coming in, that's so cool. <laughs> then I'm kind of hoping that we'll just like hourglass it. All the gas will be pushed up and down at the same time and then like an eight just kind of dissipate. Give me what I want. Do something cool. Oh, that's pretty well timed. Didn't push nearly as much as I was hoping for. Just kind of bit chunks out of it. Oh, and the rings are getting smaller. Oh, no, they're actually pulling in because the planet is shrinking. Yeah, you can so clearly see it here. So because the gas is gone, it's reforming smaller. Because it's reforming smaller, it has less gravitational pull. And then the rings are, are even I'm getting pulled in. <laughs> Just little bits at a time and we can see the stony center. That's awesome. Okay, we're, we're real close now. <gasps> what are we gonna do to finish it off? Maybe just kind of delicately burn it away? I, I don't wanna lose everything here. We've come so far. I don't know about you guys, but that's looking pretty gas-free to me. And the rings are pretty well gone as well. We're just left with the crusty center that's not a whole lot to look at. <laughs> it's interesting, but once you get to the end of the journey, you're just kind of like, well, I guess we'll blow it up now. Don't you worry about a thing, Saturn. I'm not gonna let you go alone. Be sure to toss the earth into the mix as soon as you get a little bit hot. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we got mixed nuts this time. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, 
All right, but you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Solar Smash, guys. I'm pretty sure there's still a whole lot more for us to uncover, like new planets, other secret planets. I don't think there are any more weapons, which is a bit of a disappointment, but they added a lot to the fundamentals of the game. You know, everything is a little bit more detailed. Everything works a little bit differently, and I really like it. So if you guys want to see another episode, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll pass gas again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.